In this section, we're just going to talk quickly about patching and capping. To do that, I'm actually going to start with a simple curve. Then what I'm going to do is copy it, control C, control V. So we have two identical curves. Now one of these, I'm going to turn into a shape that can be patched and the other capped. The patch command will only work on a curve or a curve that is at the edge of a surface. Surface, patch. U and V spans are telling you how complex it is. Point spacing, this can just adjust stiffness as well. Changing these will adjust how dense the patch itself is. Adjust tangency and trim, we'll just leave those checked. Press OK. As you can see, it's done just that. It has patched our curve. Now, capping is found here, solid cap planar holes. To do that, we need to have some planar holes, which can be created by extruding this curve, for example. Solid cap planar holes. What this will do is find all the holes in the object as long as they're flat. In other words, from the side here, if this edge was curved or bent, I would not be able to cap it. But as long as they're flat, it caps them. And so it's created two end caps. Now quickly we're going to bend our curve a little bit, going to the Transform and Bend menu. Surface, Extrude, Straight. Well, let's take a look here. Now this time it's slightly bent, as you can see, just a little bit warped, the top and bottom. Select, Solid, Cap Planar Holes. Unable to cap that object, because again, the shapes are not flat. However, now we can actually go to Surface, Patch, select the edge here at the top, press enter, enter again, and it's created a patch which because of the bend is going to be bulged slightly. Surface, patch, we'll select the bottom. Now since my curve is still there I can either choose the edge of the surface or the curve itself. I'll choose the edge, I'll right click to confirm, Press Enter and Enter again. So now as you can see, we don't want to move our perspective window that way. We want to move it out here. We'll highlight this. We're going to use our shaded preview and look at this thing closely. Our caps are fitting snugly to the edge, but as you can see, there's still some discrepancy, which means that a join tool would not work to change this into one solid object. So again, the difference between cap and patch is that patch can work on a curve by itself or on the edge or curve of a shape, whereas the cap planar holes will only work on flat surfaces of solids.